All right, tech family, I'm changing the way I review laptops for 2021. I've got a ton of new laptops coming in for review. In fact, some are already here. But before I get started, I wanted to just hop online and give you my quick thoughts on why I believe a change is needed and what changes I'm going to make. By the way, if you've noticed, I've also changed my glasses. I know several of you like the older pair, but they literally snapped. It was an insanely cold day in New York City and I walked into a heated space and bingo. Funnily enough, that was my second pair of those exact glasses. My ex-girlfriend's dog ate the first one. Unfortunately, Tag Heuer, the manufacturer, no longer makes them, so I had to turn to eBay for my replacement. After ordering one that ended up being the wrong pair, I finally got a replacement, and a month later, it's broken again. Clearly cursed. Anyway, just like how I review laptops, it's time for a change. So let me know in the comments below what you think, as I rely on you guys for my fashion advice. At the end of 2019, I posted a video on why buying a laptop sucks, which I'll link in the description below. In 2020, after we saw a ton of new tech launched, we've definitely seen improvements, but a lot of it hasn't come in the areas that matter when you're actually using the laptop. Yes, we now have much better multi-core performance with AMD's Ryzen. Yes, laptop manufacturers are giving us far more bang for our buck, particularly in the budget price range. And yes, we did have some standout launches with excellent devices like Apple's MacBook M1s. But a lot of the core issues that we've been complaining about with laptops for years still remain. So in 2021, I'm gonna to get tougher and I'm gonna raise the bar on what laptops I will recommend as this is a channel that looks at laptops across a variety of factors. I don't care if the laptop offers 10% more frames in games, if it gets so hot that it is uncomfortable to place your palm on while gaming, I'm not gonna recommend it. So here is my promise to you. I will be calling out laptops with lazy updates. I'm looking at you, Razer and Gigabyte. Manufacturers who just refresh their laptops with higher spec components like Nvidia's 3000 series graphics, but fail to fix the real underlying problems of their laptops. Let me tell you, people weren't holding off on buying a Razer Blade because the gaming graphics weren't fast enough. It's because its keyboard is horribly uncomfortable to use. Its webcam is outright awful. Its battery is insanely short. Its speakers don't get loud enough and the processor is capped at 45 watts if you use it for more than a couple of seconds. This last point is especially important for Intel processors, which the Blade has. Those processors require far more watts of power to perform their best. Anyway, I will not be recommending laptops from lazy manufacturers who don't fix their issues and just whack in the latest components, especially if the issues have been out there for a very long time. I'm looking at you, Dell. Over a half a year after you launched the XPS 15, viewers of mine are still reporting that their brand new XPSs are arriving with defective trackpads. Also, I will no longer be recommending laptops with disturbing fan noise when performing lightweight tasks like browsing the web. Obviously, if you're rendering a video, that's a different story, as you'll probably walk away from the laptop during that time. And of course, with gaming, we can accept a reasonable amount of fan noise, but not a jet engine. I will also no longer be recommending laptops that get uncomfortably warm to the touch. And for laptops designed for casual users, I don't just mean when using them on a desk. If the underside of the laptop gets super hot when browsing the web, and it's not comfortable to use when sitting on your lap, I won't be recommending it. Apple, with their M1 chip, has proved that laptops don't need to get hot to the touch or loud. So manufacturers, if you're planning to put an Intel CPU in your laptop in 2021, you better have good thermals. Otherwise, I'm not recommending it. Keyboards, if the keyboard is really uncomfortable and shallow, I won't be recommending it. If the keys are extremely hard to make out because there isn't enough color contrast between the color of the key characters and the keys themselves, I won't be recommending it. There are plenty of great laptop keyboards out there. Not putting a good keyboard in in 2021 is not acceptable. Now, almost everyone is working from home or attending school from home. Laptop manufacturers have had a year to react to this change. There is no excuse for badly placed or poor quality webcams. We've had excellent front-facing cameras in smartphones for years, and this will absolutely be called out. And let me tell you, any laptop that can't by default drive a 4K monitor at 60 hertz using DisplayPort over USB-C or HDMI will also be called out. HB, I'm looking at you here and your numerous laptops that couldn't do this in 2020. Moving on, laptops with low quality speakers that are hard to hear, unacceptable. The MacBook Pro 16 has been out for over a year now and has proved that you can have excellent sound coming from a laptop. Yes, Razer, I'm looking at you. And finally, manufacturers who put bloatware on their laptops with pop-ups urging people to buy software that they likely don't need or want, unacceptable. Look, 
Obviously, what different people need is not always the same. So of course I will be flexible and call out use cases who the laptop is still perfect for, even if it has one or two of the issues I just mentioned above. But what I'm trying to say is this. It still sucks buying a laptop in 2021 as we are forced to choose between what issues we can live with and what we can't. And I believe many of the issues I just mentioned have been around for a very long time and can be resolved. So I'm going to toughen up with my reviews and recommendations this year as you, the consumer, deserve better. Well, we're done here. I'm gonna go back to testing some new devices. Josh out.